Hey guys, this is Samir for Think Digit, and today we have with us the Zolo Play that boasts of the NVIDIA Tegra 3 chipset inside, the same that powered the HTC One X last year. So we've just received the device in our labs and today we're just going to take a first look at it. So it runs on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, this is a bit of a letdown considering we have a lot of sub 15k phones launching with 4.2 Jelly Bean and we hope that an update for this will be out soon. In terms of its build on the face, as you can see, you have a 4.7 inch display with a 720 pixel resolution. It's uh, quite similar to the one that we have on the Nexus. As you can see, the smartphones are almost the same size in height with, of course, the Solo giving you a little bit more uh, screen real estate because on the Nexus, we have the uh, three capacitive buttons as a part of the display, whereas on the Zolo, they are below the display. Coming to the build, it has a nice rubberized back. The back also houses the 8 megapixel camera and it has a nice rubberized matte finish which adds to the grip. So when you hold the device to use it, to type on, to navigate, it's not going to slip out of your hands easily. It's nice and comfortable to hold. Uh, speaking of comfort while using it, it comes with the swipe keyboard. Now it's nice to see the swipe keyboard preloaded on a smartphone. The downside is that if you're someone who's used to the more stock Android experience, this keyboard might feel slightly cramped for you and you might take a bit of getting used to it considering the numeric navigation button is small out here and the spacebar too is a little smaller than we'd like. So if you're someone who's been used to the stock Android experience of typing, this may take a bit of getting used to. Uh, as you can see, we've loaded quite a few benchmarks on the smartphone and in its performance, it was actually a little disappointing, especially when compared to the MediaTek powered smartphones that are there in the market today, such as the Canvas 4 and more. Uh, as you can see, the benchmark scores are good, but they aren't uh, substantially great when compared to other 15K phones in the market. In our complete review that should be up in some time, you will check out the gaming performance and see how games run on this phone. As of now, we've had just one game downloaded, uh, Dead Trigger, on the phone. And uh, we're just going to quickly run through it and show you how the game performs. Uh, there are more effects available, such as the water effects and all, as you can see. They are there a little bit better uh, than the previous phones that we've tested the game on. As you can see, as I walk through the waterfalls right on the screen, giving you the added effect, which we have not seen on other budget MediaTek smartphones on which we've played the game. Um, initially, when we started playing the game, it did lag a little bit, but as you can see right now, the performance seems to be relatively smooth and the size of the display too is good enough to just uh, run the game on. So for about 16,000 rupees, this phone right now is a mixed bag. It's got a good uh, build. It's got a pretty good build. In fact, the specifications are very last year HTC One X-ish. And the overall performance is a mixed bag. Of course, we're going to hold on to the final verdict until we review the smartphone. Until then, here is our first impression of the Zolo Play powered by the NVIDIA Tegra 3 chipset. We'd also like to mention that the Tegra 3 chipset is also last year's NVIDIA launch, the Tegra 4 chipset this year. And uh, in the due course of time, we will see Tegra 4 power devices hit store shelves. But it's nice to see the Tegra chipset come on a 15K device. 16K.